Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about a ClickFunnels 2.0 lead generation funnel. It's a pretty simple process to go through and get started, especially for the fact that they give you the recipes for creating that type of funnel. If you'd like to follow along with me or just try out ClickFunnels, I will leave a link in the description down below. And if you click that, you can get a free 14 day trial for ClickFunnels 2.0. Let's get started. So once you're in this section right here, you're going to want to go to funnels, which is here, and then click on recipes. And I'm not sure if I've talked about this before, but the cool thing is that they have a bunch of actual, I guess you could say templates set up for you. So depending on what type of funnel you want to create, you can just use these and they'll have them for you. Either way, we're going to be doing our lead generation or lead magnet. So same thing. Let's click on this. It says get started quickly using the simple funnel template. Actually, all of them say that uh, two steps for generating leads. Let's click on choose. Okay, looks good. Lead magnet funnel. Those are going to be the two steps. Create funnel. Okay, so in case you're not familiar with ClickFunnels 2.0, you're going to have workflows. If you are familiar with their previous ClickFunnels 1.0, anytime you're going to create a sales funnel, they're going to be steps on the left side, kind of like rectangle boxes, and you can slide them and drag them and move them around. Instead, they're going to be, this is going to be the setup where someone arrives at this page, and once they opt in, they're going to go to the next step unless you do like a manual redirect. So what we can do is edit this. Now, if we don't want to actually use any templates, we can just click on new page. And what it'll do is allow us to uh, just use a blank one, which I've done a few times before. But just as an example, I'm going to choose this one, give it a name and a page URL. Okay, So it's called it new lead gen. If you want to edit your SEO settings, you can do that. Let's click on create page. Okay, let's edit this. And yes, keep in mind, it does say the funnel is in test mode. I can show you how to change that around. So this is going to be an example where we have a actual pop up. So this would be the button someone would click on. And then, of course, after that, a pop up is going to open and there's going to be two of them there. OK, so one at the top, one at the bottom. If we want to edit this, we want to click on the pop ups and show pop up. So this is going to be where someone enters their name and email address. In my opinion, I don't like asking for the name. It's just an extra step. You don't always need it. Uh, that we don't need that there as well. And that looks good. So what we'd want to do in terms of being able to get someone to opt in, uh, just with ClickFunnels 2.0, I'm not going to be going through like sending your first email, but just making sure that they sign up uh, would be right here. So what happens is that uh, we have a submit order form. Uh, and by doing that, that's going to allow us to capture those emails. We don't want to do enable redirect override. If we do this, that means we can send them to any URL we want. And if the URL we want them to go to is going to be the next step in the first place, it's just going to be unnecessary. So that's the good thing is that it's pretty much already set up in terms of the lead generation. Uh, you can also change this around. So if you click on email, obviously email address required. Uh, and you can do, I like doing this enter your best email address or enter your primary. So now you can actually see that right there. Uh, and then going forward, if you want to do other aspects, you know, there's plenty of them for you to add there in case you're doing shipping. Obviously, it's going to be important for your address and so on and so forth. But this is lead generation. But of course, you could use that. Let's just uh, X off of this. Let's save. OK, and I'm going to hit back. So obviously, when creating a lead generation page, I've done a few. I think I did one with affiliate marketing where you can go around. I have plenty of videos when it comes to using the editor and tutorials about that. So uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. I just want to make sure you know how to connect them. OK, let's hit back. Let's go to our thank you page. There's actually not too much we need to do here. I'm just going to go with a uh, let's let it load there. A simple thank you page. And this one looks good. Give it a name and create page. So let's edit this. Okay, and this is going to be the thank you page. Once again, this is just, you know, randomly created. So this doesn't have to be a pop up. You know, you can have your download, for example, you're in add element. Let's do a button here. So this could be where you link your PDF. Say if someone you were doing a lead magnet for lead generation, uh, what you can do, we don't need this. We can do, let's see, scroll to go to. There we go, open in a new window. So if you have a PDF, what you can do is upload it into ClickFunnels 2.0. I did a video about that. It's called Assets or Digital Assets, one of those. And what it does is it pretty much hosts your file for you. 
Once you get that link, you can just paste it right here and send them straight to an ebook that you might have. You could obviously upload it to anywhere else like Dropbox, uh, Google Drive is another one. If you have your website, you know, if it's a very small file, you'll be able to easily do that. Okay. So that's where that would go, you know, and then they can download that. Anything else is going to be business as usual. I talked about the ClickFunnels 2.0 thank you pages. I did a separate video about that, talking about what you can put there in terms of a video, uh, having your audience get to know you. Maybe you have a related offer or a webinar, letting them download that, giving them more opportunities to go to the inbox and get more bonuses. Uh, that, If I remember, I'll link it down below. If not, it's somewhere in my ClickFunnels 2.0 uh, playlist. But either way, I'm just going to save this and I'm going to go back. Remember everything else aesthetics wise, you know, copy wise, text wise, that's going to be on you because you know what you're obviously doing in terms of your niche, your business. I'm going to take it off test mode. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm just going to do my domain and do no for test mode. So this is going to be live. Let's preview. And what I want to do is just click on this and I'm, it's going to open up a pop-up and I'm just going to put a random email in there. All right. So I put super random email at AOL.com and I'm going to do a click here to sign up or click to sign up. And if everything is good to go, we're going to take, get taken to the thank you page. And of course, here is going to be our thank you page. We created this random, you know, button here where you can link to your uh, ebook if you have one, obviously for lead generation. And then you can edit that around as well. So it's going to be one more thing I want to show you. I'm just going to go back. Yeah, and I went to uh, my contacts and as you can see, super random email at AOL.com. Uh, I believe it's going to say unsubscribe just because it's not a real email, but any email that is real and legit and in there will show up. Even if it's fake or not, it'll show that, you know, someone has activity just to show you that's going to be in your contact list. And there's going to be plenty of things that can go along with it. Activity notes is going to be coming soon. You can actually go there, but marketing orders, enrollments and fulfillments and assets. But overall, that's going to be these steps when it comes to setting up a ClickFunnels 2.0 lead generation funnel. It's very easy. The only thing aside from what I've showed you here is obviously your copy, uh, uploading maybe a video on your thank you page, uploading it, your, your document, not your document, your eBooks, or maybe it was a video course linking to that, whatever it's going to be. But pretty much the bare bones setup and the fundamentals of this is going to be showing you pretty much what I did in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have a link for them for a free trial in my description. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.